Hi guys, this is Neha and welcome back to Target Study YouTube channel. Everyone wants to have bright future for obvious reasons. And everyone is in seek to get jobs in government sector with their own choice of interest these days. As we all know that there are so many advantages of government jobs which attract everyone. And today I'm here for those who are interested to work in government sector, especially in railways. One thing I would like to tell you that in last few decades, the railway has developed into a massive network system covering over 60,000 kilometers, about 8,000 stations, and over 1 lakh kilometers of track, including broad and narrow gauges and metro lines. And there's still miles to go. That means job opportunities in railways are never going to stop. So get ready, dear aspirants. Today in this video, I will let you know about all those posts available in railway sector and different aspects about it like how to get those posts, eligibility for joining at various posts, and salaries that you can expect to get, etc. So if you're interested to know all about these jobs, then keep watching this video till the end. First of all, let's start with a very basic knowledge about railway sector. Indian Railways is the largest network in Asia and the world's second largest, which has over 70,000 passenger coaches and more than 11,000 locomotives. Indian railway services are divided into four grades, Grade A, Grade B, Grade C and Grade D. In Grade A, you get selected for the posts like Indian Railway Traffic Services, Indian Railway Account Services, Indian Railway Personal Services, Indian Railway Protection Force, Indian Railway Services of Engineers, Indian Railway Store Services, Indian Railway Service of Mechanical Engineer, Indian Railway Service of Electronical Engineer, Special Class Railway Apprentice, Indian Railway Service of Signal Engineer, Indian Railway Medical Services and IAS Allied Services. In all these services, non-technical services are Traffic Services, Personnel Services, Account Services and Railway Protection Force. For all these posts, candidates must have done graduation from Central, State, Deemed University or have distance degree or an equivalent government recognized qualification. The recruitment to this post is done through civil services examination or by promotion from grade B in case of IRTS. An age should be between 21 and 32 years. Some age relaxation has been given to OBC SC ST candidates. And technical ones are civil engineers, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, store services and signal engineers. For technical services, you must have done bachelor's degree in engineering or MSc in wireless communication, electronics, radio physics and radio engineering. The recruitment to these posts is done through Indian Engineering Services Examination conducted by UPS. An age limit required for taking this exam is between 21 and 30 years with age relaxation for OBC, SC and ST candidates. Then, the last one is under medical services, that is, Indian Railway Medical Services, in which recruitment is done through Combined Medical Services Examination conducted by UPSC. For this post, candidate must have done MBBS and age must be less than 32 years with age relaxation for OBC, SC and ST candidates. If we talk about their salaries, then grade A officer can expect to get something between Rs. 1,30,000 to Rs. 1,60,000 per month. Now let's move forward to grade B posts. There is no entrance exam for recruiting grade B officers. Actually, grade B officers are directly promoted from grade C. Posts available in grade B are assistant nursing officers, senior section officers and depot material superintendent. The salary of grade B officer is between Rs. 60,000 to 90,000 rupees per month. In grade C, officers are recruited through RRB, that is Railway Recruitment Board, and there are two types of jobs in it, technical and non-technical. In technical group, posts are civil, electrical, mechanical, and telecommunication engineers. And in non-technical group, there are posts like junior account and assistant come typist, Assistant Loco Pilot, Ticket Collector, Junior Timekeeper, Senior Timekeeper, Commercial Apprentice, Senior Commercial Come Ticket Clerk, Ticket Clerk, Senior Clerk Come Typist, and 
station master in zonal railways and production units of Indian railways, etc. Group C non-technical posts are recruited through RRB and TPC exam. Eligibility for grade C officers varies according to the post like For ticket collector, candidates must have done 12th class or equivalent qualification. For assistant station master, candidates must be a graduate or equivalent from recognized university. For assistant locomotive pilot, candidates must have done 10th or SSLC plus ITI from certified board. For technician, he must have done 10th or SSLC plus ITI and act apprentice or 12th with physics, math or diploma in engineering. And for goods guard, candidates must have done graduation or diploma in rail transport and management. As far as salaries are concerned, Group C officers can get something between Rs. 20,000 to Rs. 55,000 per month. In Grade D, there are posts like Helper, Hospital Attendant, Pointsman, Porter, Track Maintainer and Gateman, etc. They are required to be between the ages of 18 to 31 or 33 years with age relaxation for OBC, SC and ST category candidates. Education qualification require a minimum of passing the 10th standard or an Industrial Training Institute certificate from either the National Council for Vocational Training or the State Council for Vocational Training. If we talk about the salary of Grade D officer, it is somewhere between Rs. 18,000 to 20,000 per month. The selection is conducted at the divisional or zonal level, supervised by the RRB. So guys, these were the posts through which you can pursue your career in India's largest public sector employer, the Indian Railways. I tried my best to tell you almost everything about railway jobs. Now I really want to wish you a good luck. Go for it, crack the exam, get that coveted post in Indian Railways. And do remember, it always seems impossible until it is done. So don't be scared of the hurdles that come between. Just keep moving forward because if you believe in yourself, anything is possible. That's all from this video guys. I hope you find this video informative. If you like this video, Along with your friends and relatives, do share on your WhatsApp groups, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that others can also take advantage from it. For more such informative videos, subscribe to Target Study YouTube channel. And to get regular notifications, hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.